<laughs> hey, monkey! And what <laughs> this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's play a game. See if Tara can catch Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our 10 acre woods. My name's Mark and my wife Tara. Uh, I offered to do the uh, do the honors of the uh, goat hoof trimming, but Tara wants to do that. Uh, so a few times a year we trim goat hoofs uh, to make sure that they are um, they're not hindering any performance. You need some help there? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to hold them. Um, now it all depends on the ground they're on. Sheldon's in this grassed-in area. If they're on a rocky soil, then uh, it's a uh, it, it, rocky soil, a rocky gravel, uh, then they'll wear yeah, down a little, uh, <laughs> little easier. Okay, I'm gonna have to help you. I'll have to hold them. <laughs> Sheldon! Actually, I could probably even... Sheldon! She... See, he, uh, he knows now. He's like, ah, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> Hey, grab a hold of him. I'll hold him with... Uh, there. He's distracted. <laughs> okay, here. Okay, let me hold him. There we go. That's what these horns are. One of the reasons why uh, we, de we don't dehorn <laughs> is because you can use them as handles. <laughs> All right. No, now you just have to keep his foot still. <laughs> uh, so basically, we're just trimming the tips off. Uh, and then the edges along the side. His hoofs actually look pretty good, uh, but it's just yeah. good to get uh, get some hands on, get some eyes on it. Uh, make sure that there's no stones or anything in the uh, in the groove, and then just kind of clean out that yeah, dirt. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> that's his other foot. Yeah, that's his that's other his foot. foot. So again, just uh, Tara's actually using... Um... <laughs> Sheldon! Get your bum! Get your bum! <laughs> She's actually using uh, scissors, like bone scissors, that come in a, like a chef's kit. Uh, now we do have some, uh, some proper shears. Uh, well, Tara doesn't really good. care for them because they are heavier. Uh, you can also use side cutters. They're they're not as. Oh, see, look, nice big rock in that one. Not as nice. There we go. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice big rock in that one. The side cutters are nicer because they cut right to the point, though. Well, they have their, yeah. It's kind of to each his own. Uh, the technique, the, the main thing is just to get, yeah. get it all cleared out and get it all shaved down. Get his pedicure. Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, now the front ones. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. But like I said, we learned... Okay. Before. Hey, one, one last one, right? No, that's it. Oh, you got that last one? Yeah. Oh, you're good. Um, we learned that if you <laughs> install shingles, it'll help. And we've yet to have done that. So I'm going to oh. pick up a pack of shingles here. <laughs> <laughs> now he's all frisky. He's a new boy. Uh, yeah, so as Tara was mentioning, shingles. So we have over on this, you know, <laughs> this uh, structure over here, uh, you can put shingles up. So when they go up and down, they naturally wear down. <laughs> Willow's confused as to what's, what's going on here. <laughs> now Willow's uh, hoofs should be pretty good she's still pretty young oh <laughs> uh, the sheep are a little bit more difficult to do uh, but as long as you set them on their bum uh, then they're done you know they they don't have much struggle left in them 
Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess this means he feels great. <laughs> uh, Playtime with Sheldon. <laughs> See, this, he's got his hair up, so that means he's all excited. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you get her. You get her. There's tongue in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> See, it's not just fun for uh, for Sheldon. It's fun for everyone. <laughs> Uh. I'm too old. I'm too old. Keep up with him. <laughs> uh, he'll sometimes, uh, Moira sometimes gets into it. Oh, oh, oh that's a trip. Did you face that? <laughs> uh. Done. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey. All right. So the next step is um, fireplace ashes. Uh, so we prefer to use the fireplace ashes uh, rather than the DE or the diatomaceous earth, uh, just because the diatomaceous earth is sensitive to um, well, it can affect worms and ground and well so much more. you don't want to get it in your nose yeah. your eyes it can dry the skin although Sheldon! <laughs> Sheldon! Sheldon! <laughs> hey monkey and what this <laughs> yeah okay I know. <laughs> let's play okay. a game see if Tara can catch Sheldon <laughs> put your tongue in your mouth <laughs> Sheldon! Uh, so the fireplace ashes will smother any parasites. Uh, the more concerning time is over the winter and in the spring uh, when the uh, the bugs are um, when they're well, when they're inside and when the bugs are more active here. What? Oh, I'll you... hold them. All right. And then just go right down the neck. Just work it in. Uh, and if there are any parasites, uh, they'll be uh, a lot of the time they're they're in around the head, behind the ears, back Armpits. of the neck, the top of the head. Um, so we just basically cover Ooh. the whole area, and then when we let him go, he's gonna shake and he's gonna look all dusty. So again, you want to try to keep it, you know, out of his uh, nose and eyes. Are you done? Yep. All right, go. Cloud of dust. <laughs> what he does when he moves it around, it actually sinks down to the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Sheldon. Sheldon! <laughs> so one time a year when this is really important is... Spring. Um, yeah, springtime. When everything's wet and damp from the snow, the bugs are just starting to come actually. out. Um, and um, kid goats. So kid goats are underneath their mamas and they, um, they get that transfer of bugs over. Um, so we usually treat, oh, there he goes. <laughs> um, we usually, yeah, he's confused. Uh, we usually treat them a couple times in the spring uh, just to ensure that, uh, that we do get them. And you wanna do it, uh, you know, do it maybe three times um, over the course of three, over the course of about three weeks. Uh, because the gestation period of the uh, the bugs to eggs, <laughs> look at them walk, <laughs> is is about 14 days. Feeling all fresh. Yeah. Nice stuff. Fernando, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? I see you got that one tail feather sticking up. So Fernando is uh, molting, and his feathers are coming back. You can see it's all nice and black under here. 
Oh yes, you know you're pretty, don't you? Pretty bird. <laughs> uh, Sheldon, what are you doing? Is that your mom? <laughs> that's Blackie. Yes, that's your mom. <laughs> and she's probably looking for, for treats. <laughs> uh, uh, so the uh, alpaca, I believe, are out back. Uh, looks like the goats are starting to migrate back in from the back and the sheep. What do you want? Hey, Blackie always goes over to the garden fence when Tara's in the garden. Yeah, because you know you're spoiled, don't you? <laughs> uh, okay, who do we have here, Coco? So we're going to be doing these guys as well. We just wanted to give you a demonstration on Sheldon. <laughs> because he's just so cool, right? <laughs> oh, Fernando's gonna... Oh, look at that. Little... <laughs> oh, boy, I don't think I've seen Fernando uh, and him go at it. <laughs> you don't take that, Fernando, right? <laughs> oh, silly. It's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Right, Glenn? Never a dull moment. <laughs> No. Where's Boo? There's Boo. Uh, so, of course, Glenn uh, came in around the same time uh, we had Boo over here, uh, which is a Czech goose. Um, so uh, she, he, we, we still don't even know what sex, <laughs> um, was raised by Tiana, our daughter. Uh, and this one here, Glenn, uh, came in. Uh, it was found as a very young gosling, uh, and um, it was a young girl that... Um, that raised it and fed it, but um, needed to find it a place where it could um, it could possibly migrate um, when the time comes. Uh, and when that time comes, he or she again were unsure of the sex quite yet. Um, will migrate if it's a female. Likely migration will take place, providing the wing is um, is in good shape. There's a little bit of a, an angel wing, wing or pin wing. Uh, will likely take place uh, this fall. Uh, if it's a male, likely next fall. Um, but then again, with that wing condition, uh, could also be next uh, next fall, right? How's your wing doing? Yeah, you still got those two feathers that, uh, two or three feathers is sticking out. So, okay, everybody's uh, been fed about an hour ago, so everybody's just winding down. Tinker, okay. Now we don't um, we don't ash these guys, uh, and the um, we find that they just don't get um, get any kind of bugs like the goats do, uh, and it's likely due to the lanolin uh, in their wool. Um, it uh, it just suffocates the bugs, uh, so we haven't had an issue with these guys. Uh, we always you know watch for that. Uh, and, um, you know, usually what happens there is we would shave them down if there's any kind of concern uh, so you can get down to the source of it through that wool. Uh, and again, uh, when the hoofs are done is the same time as they get sheared, uh, but we keep an eye on them uh, over the course of the year. And um, your feet look pretty nice. So coming into the new Avery we built here, um, we look down here and Tara has put out uh, essentially a bath. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a uh, rubber water or feed tray uh, and she's put ashes in there. Uh, so the birds can go over and they can bathe in there. And if you look closely in there, you can actually see there's a guinea fowl uh, feather in there. So they're, they're getting used to it. You can see the edges are all kind of scratched up where they've jumped in there and they've uh, flopped around. Uh, but what they will also do is they, hi girls, where's your spots? <laughs> oh, they're there. Yeah, you just barely see them. Um, so in this area here, they've got, somebody had, had brought us a whole bunch of crab apples, uh, which they're kind of plucking away at. Uh, let's see if we can actually uh, get one of these guys bathing. Doesn't look like. The other day there was one, um, and you'll see them sporadically. Um, there's a little bit of a hole right here. Um, and they'll just, uh, you can see there's a couple girls over there that are, that are digging. They're looking for little bits and seeds. 
Um, but then what will happen is they'll get right down in there and they'll just kind of flop around uh, and then pull that dirt up underneath their wings. So I just want to go and find out where the uh, alpaca are. They're probably still in the back. Um, usually they are the last ones to come in. Um, but uh, something that happened this past week uh, was I was, uh, I was in my office uh, here at home and Tiana comes in and says, Dad, look what I have. And she opens up her hand and shows me this hummingbird. Uh, the hummingbird was just lethargic. It, uh, it, it wasn't looking very good at all. Uh, so yeah, I asked her what happened and she said uh, uh, her and Tara were out in the greenhouse and she noticed that there was a hummingbird in there. The hummingbird likely flew into the greenhouse, maybe couldn't get out, and it was extremely hot in there. Um, so it just suffering from dehydration. What do we got? Pretty hummingbird. It's caught in the greenhouse. So you're just dripping this on the end and you'll see he opens his mouth. I don't know if you'll be able to mm -hmm. see it. Move over into the light. Anyways. Hmm. Well, he's, he's ready to yeah, go. Yeah, he's ready to go. Oh, we, wow. So. I gave him some sugar water. Okay, so he was caught in the, the greenhouse. Uh, greenhouse. all hot and let him go. Okay, okay well. Let him go. Let me see his back in color. Woo! <laughs> Little airplane. Oh, there's a feather stuck to my hand. There's a feather. Oh, there you go. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> a little keepsake. No, it's floating away now. So the next day when Tara was in town doing some shopping, she picked up a screen for the gazebo uh, with um, it's, it's two sides and it has a magnetic uh, zipper, I guess, in between it. So we can easily go in and out, uh, but it's screened off so birds like the hummingbird uh, can't get in there. So it was a, a great ending to the story. Um, it's amazing on um, you know, how much energy a hummingbird needs. Um, and just, you know, the, the part I filmed was, was a small amount. Um, they had fed the hummingbird a couple times before I got outside and, you know, just energized uh, just like that and, and away, uh, away went. And so I found the alpaca. <laughs> Glenn and Boo have followed me out. <laughs> um, so they're just hanging out back here. It looks like Tara had put out some hay in this area. Uh, she changes it up every once in a while. Uh, there's a wagon um, probably of the extra stuff that uh, some of the bales that broke when we had the hay delivered. We had a few that broke. Uh, so she's likely spread it out here. Changes locations because the seeds that are in this hay uh, actually help seed the ground. Uh, it looks like the geese are back here too. Uh, so there we go, the alpaca, a geese, and uh, a couple sheep. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to do much with the garden today. We've still got um, some terras starting to harvest, so we'll capture that next week's video. Um, but you can just get an idea here, her tomato plants um, and her um, raspberry bushes here. Uh, so the garden is looking good. Everything's starting to, uh, starting to produce. Um, we're starting to get some tomatoes out of there and there's a lot of green tomatoes that are in there. Uh, so we will cover that next week. And um, that's about it for, uh, for this video. So as I hear the geese hiss at me because I'm a little too close to their watering hole here. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something about uh, how we do the pedicures for the goats uh, and how we naturally treat for parasites, uh, mainly for the, um, uh, for the goats. They seem to be the ones that are more prone to it, uh, but of course we're always keeping an eye on all the animals. I would say horses, ponies, probably next up on that list, uh, but uh, fireplace ashes. So um, if, you, uh, if you have a fireplace, um, you know, keep those ashes if you got animals and um, having it in your chicken coop, especially in the winter time, uh, just to give them something that they can bathe in over the uh, long cold winter, if you have a long cold winter as we do here in Canada. Uh, anyway, have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.